All right, bonjour everybody. First of all, thanks for the Filecoin team to have us here tonight. And yeah, um, as I was introduced, my name is Yanis and I work with CV Labs and I'm in charge for all our accelerator efforts there. So, oh, just one second, yeah, it's this one. So yeah, today, um, as introduced, I will talk about why being at the right moment in the right time is actually not always a coincidence. So, let's kick it off with some information on who we are and what we do. So we are CVVC, or CV Labs, basically the same company with two different brands. So CVVC stands for Crypto Valley Venture Capital, and is our mother brand. And as the name already says, it's a venture capital firm where we focus on early stage Web3 and blockchain investments. So we kicked it off back in 2016, and um, right from the start, we were focusing more on application layer and more on real world use cases. So um, for those people who are ready for a long time in the space, you pretty much know that 2016, 2017 was these crazy days where so many ICOs happened, people were raising money, and money was just like sent like everywhere, right? So for us, um, at these days, there was a question, how can we differentiate to other VCs? How can we give more value to projects? And that's when we established our second brand called CV Labs. So CV Labs, you can see it as an ecosystem builder. Next logical question, and what is an ecosystem? So we hear this term so much in our space, right? Ecosystem here, ecosystem there, so what is it? We define it clearly with five steps. So we believe in an ecosystem, we need to contribute with education, what in our case we do more to traditional companies, but we also want to bridge them into the Web3 space. Secondly, we believe in advisory. So this goes more towards the term of Crypto Valley, which is the region that where we're actually from, so Zug, Switzerland, when we see foundations moving there and establishing their setup, so we try to advise them. Next one is co-working, so we believe that our project and the wider ecosystem is a place to work. And the um, second last one would be accelerator, so basically get these projects, get them started, and get them started quickly. And last but not least, events. So. Um, when we look at CV Labs, um, again, as I mentioned, we kicked it off in Zug, Switzerland, but we initially had sort of a global vision because we understood that not just in Switzerland projects need funding, um, places to work, events, reports, etc. This is a global need. And that's why we moved from Switzerland out in the wider world. So um, our first expansion went into Liechtenstein. For those who don't know the country, it's, it's a very small one. It's within Switzerland, actually. And it gave us a bit this um, advantage of having a different type of regulation close to the European Union. The next move we made was pretty far, actually. It was a wild excursion, or you can say a safari, as we went to Cape Town. So um, this move was in partnership with the Swiss government. Because um, for those of you who don't know, the Swiss government actually is very, very involved in the development of the blockchain ecosystem. So not just on a local basis, they also believe to, to bring and spread the word on a global stage. So that's they support, they supported us to move to Cape Town, where we actually have now a fully-fledged office with a known fund for early stage investments and a fully-fledged ecosystem. And now last year, we made two more, um, let's call them more local moves, right? We went to Lisbon and Berlin just due to the fact that we um, saw that there was plenty of developers, there was cool projects coming out of this region, so we saw the opportunity and went there. Right, so um, that's enough about us. Let's talk now a bit more to the actual um, question of the day. So accelerators, what are they for, what are they needed, why, how, and everything. So um, we believe that in the current ecosystem, so specifically looking into layer ones, layer twos, or anything that requires developers that we have a bit of a shortage. So shortage of network activity, shortage of projects, shortage of use cases, and shortage of adoption. So um, there might be many reasons for that, of course, but we believe that the biggest challenge, of course, is the highly competitive environment and that the approach that is taken currently might not be the best. So um, we see a lot of hackathons, we see a lot of grants given out, a lot of problems solved, but what does it really take to get more network activity and more adoption? So we believe that there is sometimes a bit of a misunderstanding what actually a startup is and what a project is. Because in the end of the day, projects can be seen as um, something, for instance, a hackathon project that is specifically targeting um, a small problem without a long-term goal. Whereas on the other hand, a, a startup is, uh, in our opinion, something completely different. It is something with a 
use case, with a revenue case, and with a business model. And ergo, it is also interesting for venture capital firms and capital providers to invest in as they have, um, they are fundable and they have growth potential. So now the elephant in the room, in the room is how do we get from a project to a startup? So of course there might be very organic ways through, um, you know, uh, experimenting, hiring new team members, trying this and that. But of course in a fast-paced um, space like the blockchain industry, this could take way too much time and could be way too cost costly. So that's why we believe accelerators might be the move. So um, what are, some, for instance, some challenges that startups face at the moment? Um, specifically in the blockchain space, we see a lot of failure due to wrong product market fit. So people don't often understand who are they actually targeting and what is the solution look like they're building. Secondly, access to capital, especially now in a downturn market, it's quite complicated to raise funds. Even like uh, valuations drop tremendously, it's still super difficult to raise. Next can be a team. So often when we start in this project, um, we have maybe four engineers, but there is a business aspect missing. On the other hand, we can have a bunch of business people with no reality or no touch points to uh, an engineer, engineer's mind. So team constellation is also very important. Um, last two points would be one timing. This is particularly important when we look into the market cycles and look into the addressable market at a given time. And last but not least, focus. We often have this problem that people are trying too many things and forget what actually are there to do. So um, now I told you a bit about all the problems we have in the space, the challenges, and I hinted before that in our opinion, accelerators can be a solution to fix this. Um, that's why we introduced back in 2019 our in-house accelerator. So um, for our early stage investments, we uh, created this 10-week program that was designed to get projects on a specific stage in and get them out in a, let's say, um, stage where they are fundable and investable for venture capital firms. So uh, our track record is actually quite good. So in these last four years, we accelerated 40 projects split up in five batches. We uh, actually cover a global um, audience. We have representatives from five continents. Um, our in-house accelerator is blockchain agnostic and industry agnostic, so it's quite Web3 journalistic, if you want to say so. And we also design it in a way that, uh, that we understand that we are not uh, you know, the, the smartest in um, smart contracts auditing or in listings, et cetera, et cetera. That's why we designed it as an ecosystem-driven accelerator. So this means that we are looking and gathering a big network of partners that can contribute specific content to the accelerator to provide the fastest track for our projects to get where they should be. And of course, and additionally, um, we contribute funding or chip in some, some starting money to the projects in terms um, for investment and we take some equity or tokens, of course. So um, yeah, the accelerator itself looks then like this. We kick it off with uh, a boot camp, which is taking place in person in Switzerland. So um, of course, we all love a decentralized world, right? But I mean, look at us, we're all here in Paris today, so there still might be some important value in in-person meetings and in-person connections. So that's why we kick it off with an um, in-person uh, bootcamp. So traditionally, the bootcamp always took place in Switzerland because it's our home turf. We have the largest network there and could provide the best connections. Um, then after this first week, we go into the remote part where we have a full block um, where we all work on product and development of the legal setup, etc., to get a fundamental set. And there, again, we start working with our uh, wide network of partners or we help the projects with everything they need. And uh, we do it in a form of either remote workshops or pre-recorded videos where we just can them, you know, like a pick and choose style library. Um, yeah, and after that block then, we go into the second block, which is in our view as important as a product development block because it's all focused on go-to-market strategy, on communication, on UI, UX, and um, similar structure than the first block, pre-recorded videos and live workshops. So um, as you can see, in between the different blocks, there is always pitching training, pitching sessions, deliverables will be checked, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, the entire accelerator is then concluded with a graduation week where we heavily invest time and energy to prepare the pitch decks, to help them with their story, the narrative, and get them then ready to raise their next round. So um, demo day itself then, 
is uh, just a, a one-day event where we bring around 100, 150 VCs in to listen to the pitches and hopefully then also secure some follow-on funding. All right, so um, as I told you before, this entire operation is not possible because of us. It's possible because of our partner network. And we are very proud and happy that since one year, we're working very close with Filecoin and uh, the Protocol Labs team to get support in these parts. As you can see, there's many more people that are taking part of it. Um, what exactly we are doing with Protocol Labs and Filecoin is that um, we have a strategic partnership. This means that we collaborate in a deal sourcing process. So I'm not sure if you know this tool, Soft Noise, or this website from Protocol Labs. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a, a, su a super website for any venture capitalist. It's basically where most projects will be listed. So we get access there to support our deal sourcing. But then on the other hand, our early stage projects that are not set yet on a tech stack can be brought to the Protocol Labs ecosystem. And then the second part, um, we get mentorship, our projects get mentorships, investor connections are shared. And of course, then the workshops are done to get tech integration done for our project. So specifically, we're looking into FVM and IPFS in the last batch. And I think for the next batch, it will be the same. And then, of course, we share each other. Uh, we share the stage sometimes with uh, events, AMAs to promote this partnership and make this then a big success. So um, I hope the video works. If not, then we just skip it. So um, what I want to show you in case it works that um, we always want our projects to be our advocates, right? So I can stand on the stage and tell you about how great and good this is, but we always believe in experiences and believe in um, reviews from our projects. So in case it works, we have um, two builders on the IPFS ecosystem who are working on a privacy-preserving analytics tool. And yeah, that's how we place. They will share some of their insights. Okay, did not work, I guess. If not, then no problem. <laughs> if not, then uh, let me just conclude with an announcement. So uh, we just finished the fifth batch of our accelerator in June, and we're now um, open for applications for the sixth batch. So the sixth batch will take place next year in March. So if you're building anything exciting, you would like to get, um, yeah, you're looking for funding, you're looking for an accelerator, please uh, scan a QR code, reach out to me, send me a message or a telegram whatsoever. We're always happy to talk to any of you, and yeah. That's it then for my presentation and looking forward to see you later.